young Australian rules football players in the country. They dream about being football stars and playing in the grand final, just like American kids dream about passing like a John Elway or scoring a touchdown like a Walter Payton and playing in the Super Bowl. Well, those dreams are very much alive in a small town in Texas where Friday night high school football is the only game in town. Welcome to Stephenville, Texas. Located, oh, about 60 miles southwest of Fort Worth, it's a beautiful part of the country where life seems to move a bit slower. It's a place where the county's milk sales were up in 1989. You don't have to worry too much about rush hour traffic. And it's a town where everyone, and I mean everyone, supports the Stephenville High School Yellow Jackets football team. This is, after all, Texas, a state where Friday night high school football is king. The football team is, is the heart of the town and the heart of the school. And, and the school's better when the football team's better. The basketball team's better when the football team's better. Everything's better when you have a good football team, it's, and it's that way all over Texas. The high school football team carries the banner for your town. You know, Texas is a, is a great state, and, and high school football is a great sport. It's an equalizer. You know, it crosses all barriers, uh, economic, social, you know, all barriers. Everybody's equal on the field. On this crisp morning in mid-November, the whole town of Stephenville is buzzing with excitement. Tonight's game against rival Brownwood High is much more than just a Friday night affair. It's a chance for the town and school to settle a long-standing score. You know, our game tonight is just a huge game for this community. We're playing uh, Brownwood, and we haven't beaten them since 1963, and Stephenville hasn't won a district championship since 1952, so, you know, it's a big game. The rivalry, as far as the Stephenville people goes, is, is they can't beat Brownwood. They haven't beat Brownwood since 1963. They've played them close a few times. They tied them two years ago, which almost resulted in the town being burned to the ground. But it's, uh, it's it, you want to beat the best, and Brownwood is the, traditionally the best. Brownwood, the game that we're playing tonight, is, has had a, a history of, uh, they've had great success with their athletic program. I was high school principal when we last beat Brownwood, 1963. Friday night football is the most exciting game in town as the entire community turns out to support its team. The finest kids in town are on the football team and the stinger reps and the band and the flags. It's just the excitement on Friday night which brings the enthusiasm out from everybody. We like this team here. We haven't beat them in 27 years and we're getting close and the whole town's behind them. On this cool night on a football field deep in the heart of Texas, Stephenville and Brownwood squared off once again as rivals. And from the opening kickoff, it seemed the Yellow Jackets were to fall once again for the 28th straight year.
Yeah, watch the face, man. He pulled him down. That's off, Sandy. He hit us in the back. Back up, Mike. At halftime, things looked grim for Coach Art Bryles and his team. They were down 17-14 as history seemed destined to repeat itself. But something happened on the field that night in Texas. Something that would change the town of Stephenville forever. football is all about. I mean, the, the community supports you, they get involved, they get enthusiastic, and, and they really, you know, pump the team on, and, and boy, you can tell it, and you can feel it, and our players responded to it, and it's, it's just a phenomenal feeling. You know, it's like we say, it's a high you can't buy. Super Shark Week.